I am stranded out here in the desert. You saw where I live. My kitchen is so small I can barely turn around in it. I get three dollars a day food stamps to live on. Those cookies were made out of those food stamps. You didn't tell anybody that I was trying to auction off that hand-painted cookie jar with the parrots on it, my living dinosaur cookie jar, and that those were creationist cookies and that they were named after creationists. You didn't tell them any of that. You just let a bunch of spoiled, privileged brats mock and ridicule me. I didn't give you those cookies for that. I worked hard on those cookies. Those are all made from scratch. I worked hard on those cookies. It was hard to have this kitchen clean enough and, and antiseptic enough and hygienic enough to be able to cook something that I could feel safe selling to somebody else. There's hardly any room in my kitchen. Michael, I can't wash dishes. There's a hard freeze outside. That's where I have to wash dishes because my pipes are broken in here. If I wash dishes in here, it'll cause dry rot and it'll rot out the floor and it'll ruin my electrical system them and it'll mildew my rugs so I have to wash my dishes outside but there's so much snow and ice and mud on the ground I can't wash my dishes which is why it's piled up like it is now which is why I couldn't make any more creationist cookies and why I couldn't sell my cookie jar do you always betray people who trust you I don't have enough to eat myself Michael I eat stuff with mold on it I made you guys breakfast, and you treated me like a short order cook. I told you the night before what I planned for breakfast, and you just looked at me. The next morning, you said, I can't eat eggs in the morning. Well, you know what? I got a sale on eggs. They were only a dollar a dozen. I bought 11 dozen of them. That's why there was so much French toast, too, because I froze a bunch of the eggs. I mixed them into recipes and froze them. I offered you breakfast because you bought dinner the night before, and I don't like to be a freeloader or a mooch. I like to pull my own weight, and I'm a damn good cook. There's no room in here for you to sit down and eat. That's why you and Queenie had to eat outside on lawn chairs. I didn't do anything to deserve that. Now, here it is just a few days before Christmas. I'm going through all kinds of post-traumatic stress flashbacks because of Jason's daughter dying and because of those kids. You know, my daughter died. I'm all alone out here. I don't have running water. I have to pull my own teeth. My truck's acting up. I can't escape. I've got some place to go, but I don't have enough money and I don't have a way to pull this trailer to go there. I'm trapped out here all alone. You see how I live. And you chose to use my life as a joke? I was just some prop. I was like clown shoes or a funny mustache. I was never a human being to you at all. Talk about privilege. Talk about being spoiled brat. You let that bastard slap that bag of cookies down on the ground. That fudge was my very own recipe. In fact, those rainbow uh, unicorn cookies, those were my own recipe. They were good. That mocha fudge, that was good. And you treated it like some cheap toy out of Walmart. Do you have any idea how much you and Queenie's visit meant to me? How in the closet I am out here? How I don't get to be my real self? How nice it was to be who I really am again? Do you know that for days after you guys left, I was so sad because I have to live this confined life, this solitary confinement, and I can't be who I really am? You know how you don't have a clue how much that visit meant to me. And now to find out it was just some joke. Some prop you could use with your little trolly asshole friends to get a cheap laugh and humiliate me for no reason. I've never done anything to you.